Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today we'll be taking a look at a few chart analysis in preparation for the week ahead. If you love the content, please like, subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're interested in learning to trade Forex from scratch, whether you're a beginner trader or you're an advanced trader and want to learn new trading strategies or newly refined trading techniques, then check out our Forex trading course on Udemy. I've, you know, attached the link to that course in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. We're starting with the gold chart on a four hours time frame and as you can see we are in a very solid bullish trend as we talked about last week right so um as a result of the nfp on friday that was about two days ago we had this massive bearish move breaking this area of support so i'm going to go down to the two hours time frame so we can um, try to see if we can spot out good trade opportunities in preparation for the week ahead so right now we seem to have broken this trend line okay this trend line has been acted as a support before has been used as a support before in the past and now we seem to have broken but i won't be jumping into any trade right now so i'm going to watch out for something like this just easy peasy so a consolidation like this and a bearish breakout to go short in continuation of this massive bearish move okay and my target's going to be this new area of value here so to go long we could simply wait for a pattern okay and then a bullish breakout in the direction of this massive trend before we you know um go long but either way i think the best case scenario okay the best case scenario to go long is waiting for price to get back into this area of value to find a support and then make a u-turn in continuation of this bullish move okay so um now for us to target this level then i'm going to wait for a consolidation like this and a bearish break of that consolidation to go short that's taking advantage of this bearish move all the way down to this area of value so this is where i'm going to look forward to taking new buys so even if we don't get to this level then i'm just going to wait to see what the market does if we break above this area of value then i'm going to look forward to open buy trades but for now i'm going to try as much as possible to see if i can you know take advantage of this massive bearish move aiming for this support level here where i'm going to look forward to taking buy trades so if anything changes within a week i am going to you know make new videos or i'm going to update this analysis in our discord so if you're interested in joining our discord there's a link in the description below join our discord and you know engage with the community it's free right so moving on we're going to take a look at um crude oil here real quick so crude oil we talked about this last week we had massive rejections at this area of resistance okay which gave rise to this descending sorry an ascending triangle with a bearish breakout so we talked about going shots at this level targeting the trend line but uh, we had really good moves um, last week, so that brought price all the way down to this level. So I'm going to zoom out a little. So just to let you know that this is a massive bearish trend on crude oil, right? So we've been in this trend since 20, um, 2022, right? Yeah, 2022, June or March, yeah. So this is a bearish trend and it is logical or it is only ideal to get rejected at this area of resistance so right now we're looking forward to breaking this support level to go short so i'm going to go down to the lower time frame so two hours for example to see what we're likely going to do in order to take advantage of this move to the downside so just like we did on gold so this is a very good area of value right a support level so i'm going to wait for a consolidation on this level right and bearish breakout for me to go short so this consolidation is going to help me get a better risk to reward ratio when entering this trade because if we get a consolidation at this support level and a breakout then my entry is going to be around this level and my stop loss is going to be above the consolidation giving me a tighter you know stop loss while i ride the you know position all the way down breaking this low so first target is going to be around these lows while i ride or trade the rest of the positions so this is how i'm going to trade crude oil right so i'm not going to go long this doesn't look like a setup to go long in my opinion so i'm only going to go short and this is what i'm going to watch out for in order for me to go short moving on arrow chf real quick this is another interesting chart so this is a 12 hour chart on arrow chf and this has been in a massive you know bearish trend as well so there's a good chance this trend might be coming to an end which might signify potential bullish move coming but i'm going to show you another you know angle from another point of view that this might also signify a continuation of this bearish trend right so looking at the bullish case scenario first um uh, still on 12 hour chart you can see 
after making series of lower highs all the way from you know um, these highs here so we had lower highs now price seem to have broken these highs creating higher high and price seem to be making higher lows so this could be a good scenario to go long because right now we are consolidating above this resistance level right so i'm going to go now to the two hours time frame so on the two hours time frame enough for us to go long in line with this bullish move then we are going to wait for something like this so i'm going to wait for a move in between this level and a bullish breakout so by the time we break this you know um sloping trend line to the downside by the time we get a bullish breakout from this trend line then i'm going to go long targeting these highs right so that would simply be in line with this new bullish move start uh, that started all the way from this you know lows here right and my first target is going to be these highs and if you check that high i'm going to show you where it's going to be that high so this is the immediate yeah this is the immediate area of value before we had this massive bearish candle right breaking through this level to go down so that's why my first target is going to be this high while i trail the rest of my positions why my stop loss is going to be around the consolidation that happens before the breakouts so this is the bullish case scenario for aero chf so for um the bearish case scenario i'm going to go back to the 12 hours time frame there's something really interesting i would like to show you right i'm going to get rid of this and if you pull up the fibonacci retracement tool okay if you pull up the fibonacci retracement tool yeah this is it take these highs all the way down to these lows you would see that we've had a rejection at the 61.8 percent fib level and this corresponds to this low here which has been used as a support in the past right so this might be a sign of a continuation of this massive bullish uh, bearish move so our you know scenario to go short since I just got rid of that Fibonacci retracement to now. So our scenario to go short would be waiting for price to break back below this area of resistance, taking out this trend line as well. So something like this. So a breakout like this, a consolidation, and a follow through with a bearish breakout is going to be what I watch out for in order for me to go short on Aero CHF in continuation of this bearish move, right? Where for the bullish case scenario, we're just going to wait for a break above this highs here or this um, um, sloping trend line. So a break above this trend line for us to go long. So this is both the bearish and the bullish case scenario for Aero CHF. So moving on, we're going to talk about Aero USD real quick. So Aero USD also in a massive bullish trend, right? So all the way from this lows. Okay. So we had price consolidating above this price level and we had some sort of, you know, a um divergence so if you go to the higher time frames so let's see six hours time frame for example this looks like a divergence you can see price made higher highs and you know on the rsi which is our momentum indicator we made lower highs so this is some sort of a bearish divergence which led to this bearish move to the downside okay which also aligned with the result of the nfp we had on friday so right now we seem to be you know um, be within this uh, area of value which is a support level right now so going back to the two hours time frame so i'm going to watch out for a consolidation around this support level for me to go short okay if we did get if we do get a bearish breakout so something like this so i'm going to watch out for a consolidation like this right consolidation like this and a bearish breakout for me to go short so this would be my scenario to go short for arrow usd targeting this trend line here and that will also correspond with these highs right um give me a minute that will also correspond with this high acting as an area of value so if we do get that breakout so i don't know if this is worth trading for you because the you know um entry price to the target is kind of like low so it depends on your risk to reward ratio and your risk management so if this is worth it for you then you can jump in but in my opinion i'm going to be taking this trade if we do get a consolidation before the breakout so the reason why i'm not going to be jumping into a buy trade right now is because we could uh jump into a sell trade right now excuse me is because we could consolidate at this level and you know get a u-turn to the upside so for me to go long i'm simply going to wait for some sort of reversal candlestick pattern okay on the higher time frame maybe on the daily time frame or the 12 hours time frame for me to go long at this 
you know um, area of value so this is my outlook for areas real quick but i am more inclined to you know waiting patiently for a consolidation right and a breakout of that consolidation to the downside for me to go short so this is my most likely scenario for aero usd but in order for me to go long i'm going to wait for some sort of candlestick reversal pattern on a higher time frame for me to go long on aero usd so moving on gbb usd real quick something similar to what we have on aero usd so we talked about this last week with price um excuse me i'm gonna take off my list so we talked about this last week with price you know um making rejections at this um area of resistance right so giving us this sort of double top pattern okay so right now we seem to be aiming for this support level here so i'm going to watch out for something like this for me to go short so i'm going to watch out for a consolidation like this okay so a bearish continuation pattern to go short and i'm going to target these lows where i'm going to look forward to taking buy positions right so the reason why i'm going to wait for this consolidation is because it would enable us or enable the market to cool off a bit because right now we seem to be in the oversold level so having a consolidation at this price level is going to help us cool off the market meanwhile letting or helping us you know get some sort of retracement back into the safe zone in the rsi before we possibly you know go um back into the oversold level so this is what i'm going to be watch out, watching out for to go short on gbusd so just to give you a put in situ perspective i'm going to go down to the lower time frame so let's say one hour time frame for example so on the one hour time frame you can see when we had this breakout from this excuse me i'm gonna get rid of this so when we had this breakout from this support level you can see price went close to the oversold level right but we had this rejection and consolidation which sent price back into the safe zone and we had this massive dump to the downside so i'm going to wait for something similar so this pattern might you know be it might be a bearish flag might be a descending triangle it might take one hour to form two hours to form at the case maybe but provided we get a good consolidation and a bearish breakout so this is what i'm going to be watching out for to go short on gbus targeting this lows for me to look for opportunities to go long lastly we're going to talk about aud usd right so this is a four hours chart on aud usd we got rejected from this resistance level okay which is a good area of value i don't know why my chart isn't loading okay there you go so we got rejected from this highs here which is logical because this is a very significant area of value okay because if we take out these highs it means we'll be heading higher so right now we had a very good rejection coupled with the results from the nfp and we seem to be you know um coming back to this area of value so i'm going to watch out for something like this so maybe we get some move into this area of value consolidate a bit and head higher or possibly break lower so whichever the market does i'm going to follow accordingly right so i'm not just going to jump into a sell trade at this price level because this um, trend line is in close proximity to this area of value so i'm going to wait patiently for price to come into this area of value if it does get a consolidation then see the direction with breakouts for me to go long because this is clearly a bullish trend right and we are clearly you know in the oversold level so this is basically my outlook for this coming week i'm going to keep you guys updated on discord meanwhile join us on discord it's free i have linked down um the discord channel in the description below so check that out if you love the content guys like subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section and lastly if you're interested in learning to trade forex like a professional okay where i teach you how i trade my strategies and all that then check out our forex trading course with the link in the description below and lastly before i go um you also have to pay attention to uh market correlation okay so everything i just talked about requires the dollar to keep getting stronger okay so it requires the uh dollar to keep its bullish momentum for goods to go down like this for you know um aero usd to go down like this for gb usd to go down for aud usd to go down because they are all positively correlated so i didn't talk about usd jpy because i couldn't find a good setup for usd jpy so now uh, something to pay attention to is that you shouldn't be bearish on aero usd okay waiting for a consideration and a bearish breakout and then be bullish on gbb usd it's just not the way to go because they are positively correlated together okay so they move in the same direction or you can't be uh bullish 
on AUD USD. Okay, looking for positions to go long while you are looking for positions to go short on GBUSD. So you have to pay attention to this. So by the time we take a sell trade, for example, or a sell trade opportunity back into the support level, AUD USD might be you know getting ready to go you know uh, to break this level to to go short right or when AUD USD comes into this level getting ready to go up for a bullish opportunity a bullish opportunity GBB USD might have been in this area of value already getting ready to go higher so you need to understand how these correlations work so we have lots of free content free trading content on our Instagram page and feel free to reach out to us if you have questions that's it for me guys see you next week